Hello friends, today we are going to talk about intuitive fuzzy graphs. Already we seen intuitive fuzzy sets in our description. So if anyone ha hasn't seen it, go check it out, right? So for intuitive fuzzy graphs, this type concept, this types of fuzzy graphs is based on intuitive fuzzy sets IFS. The intuitive fuzzy graphs are first introduced by Parvati and Karanambika, right? So let us consider the formal definition. Let G star is equal to V comma E be a crisp graph, right? We take the crisp graph G star and define the I of G in Tuesday fuzzy graph. Define the I of G in our crisp graph. So, so the algebraic structure of I of G is G is equal to V comma sigma comma mu. Already we know sigma and mu are vertex membership and the edge membership function respectively. So this goes underlying graph is g star right here sigma and mu have two components since uh, our crisp graph is ifg right so this is sigma is equal to sigma 1 comma sigma 2 and mu is equal to mu 1 comma mu 2 here sigma 1 is the vertex membership function and sigma 2 is the vertex non-membership function right and mu 1 is the edge membership function and mu 2 is the edge non-membership function okay so we have two function membership and non membership functions of the vertex and the edges in the graph right so here first we define the vertex membership and non membership function here sigma 1 is the degree of membership vertex membership function and the sigma 2 is the degree of non membership vertex non membership function of the node a belongs to v respectively and this condition is the sum of the values of membership and non membership degree is must be between 0 and 1 for all a belongs to v next we define the edge membership and the non membership degrees right so mu 1 is the degree of membership edge membership function and mu 2 is the degree of edge non membership function that's a of the edge a comma b respectively right so such that this condition these are the conditions are defined to the degree of membership and the non membership functions respectively the first one is for the degree of membership age membership function this is mu 1 of a comma b is less than or equal to minimum of the vertex membership values of the vertices a and b right so second one is for the degree of non membership functions of the edge so here mu 2 of a comma b is less than or equal to maximum of the vertex non membership values of the vertices a and b right so these are the conditions are defined to the membership and the non-membership values of the age A and B. Okay. And again similar to this the values, the sum of the values of membership and non-membership functions of the age is must be between 0 and 1 for all A comma B belongs to capital E. Right. In some literature uh, define the different condition for non-membership function, non-membership values. That is mu to of A comma B is greater than or equal to maximum of the vertex non membership values of the vertices A and B, but mostly followed, mostly common followed this condition. So we followed this one, okay. Let's consider the sum example, right? So here we define the vertex set and the edge set, also define the vertex membership and edge membership values, okay? So here we see that the vertex membership values of that vertex have two values. Uh, that is the order the pair. What is that? This is the first one is the vertex membership value and the second one is the vertex non membership value, which means sigma 1 and sigma 2. This is the first one is the appearance of the value of the appearance of the vertex and the second one is the non appearance of the vertex value of the non appearance of the so this is the form this is the form order the pair so this is membership and non membership values we are defined okay we have defined right so in this commonly we define the vertex membership and non membership values of the graph okay this is, does not matter this value is put by our convenience uh, depends on the point of viewer okay so this is does not matter we only focused on the age member only focused on defined to age membership on non membership values right like that the age membership functions have two values which is first one is the membership value and the second one is the non membership value right so we consider that this age okay a comma b this is we put the values of age membership and non membership values so these are the conditions first one is for the membership value second one is the non membership value right so we first define the age membership value of the day j comma b so here these are the condition mu of a comma b is less than or equal to minimum of 0 0.3 and 0 0.8 sorry 0 0.8 so here 
these are the values which is the vertex membership values of the vertices a and b right so this is the minimum 0.3 so we put the age membership value of the age a comma b is 0.2 this is 0.3 or lesser value so we put 0.2 now and uh, we define the age non membership value so here this is the condition mu of a comma b is the less than or equal to maximum of 0.6 and 0.2 which is the non membership values of the vertices a and b 0.6 and 0.2 so this is the maximum 0.6 and we put the value of non membership value of the age a comma b is 0.5 right so similar manner we put we give the values membership and non membership values for all the edges right this is the example of ifg